Are most abuse victims or their guardians aware of a civil suit being possible in an abuse case? Attorney Matthew Feller explains that. I would dare say that under half of them are aware of any kind of civil suit being possible, and it's because people believe that the perpetrator himself or herself is the only one to blame. But let us ask ourselves how child abuse and molestation occurs in these school settings. Where were the other staff members of the faculty when the abuse occurred? Where was the supervision? Where were the checks and balances that could have prevented a staff member to be alone one-on-one -on -one with an at-risk child? What measures did the facility have in place to prevent grooming-type behavior? What measures did the facility have in place to prevent staff members from telling sexual jokes to at-risk children? What were the facility's policies and procedures when it discovered that an employee may be a risk to the safety of the at-risk children? Remember, you don't have to wait for the criminal charges to be taken care of, and even if the perpetrator, for one reason or another, is able to escape the criminal charges, you can still pursue civil penalties. Call the personal injury attorneys at Feller and Wint in Utah for a no-fee consultation. They will explain your rights and give you comfort in knowing that they will be there every step of the way.